Hi guys, Wayne from Dust Monkey. Um, so today I'm just gonna have a little chat about the belly pan actually, that's on the BMW. So I've had quite a few messages, um, comments about the belly pan on the BMW that I've done. Um, it's not an off the shelf one, it was, it's been completely custom made. Um, I have got some footage that I'm going to put in before this. Um, I didn't really do much filming of when I started to make the belly pan. That was maybe yeah, a couple of years ago now. So I've got a few little, few little bits of footage that I can put in. It's not great. Um, it's not a lot better now either. But it's um, yeah, I can put that in. Um, of, I think it was when um, I think it was from the cardboard uh, templates to a little bit of metal fabrication. I didn't get any of it of the molding process. Um, I just you know you just forget I got on and made it and you know whatnot. So today I finished this bottom belly pan pretty much. Well, I say finished. It's finished in its. Uh, in its sort of metal state, so to speak. Um, so it started off with cardboard templates, you know, cardboard's easy to work with. It don't matter if you mess it up, you know, take it off, cut it up, throw it away, start again. So either paper templates, cardboard templates, get somewhere near with them, once you're happy with them, whack it onto a bit of metal and yeah, transfer it onto the metal. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what we did. It looks all right. Yeah, only got sort of basic tooling as well. So it's not, you know, as long as you've got half an idea, what we've got, a Sharpie pen, belt sander, scissors, tin snips, hammers, grinder, welder welder i suppose the only more specialized bit of kit is the uh the shrinker and stretcher which does make things a lot easier um you know when putting this this section in through here you know i know it's only sort of roughly welded in but that's that's no bother but yeah your shrinker and stretcher and putting the shape in around the front here. It does make it a lot easier. This is the bit that I've just finished today. It's good enough. What we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna uh, mold this and probably make it out of carbon. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. See how brave I feel. But yeah, overall, it looks all right on the bike. Gives the bike a nice stance, really. This here is the yeah the lower belly pan for the uh, for the BMW. Um, there's obviously nothing like this to purchase at all, not as far as I'm aware of. Um, so I thought 
Do you know what? We're gonna go a little bit different with this one. And we'll make a, make a belly pan for it. So, yeah. I'll, um, I'll kind of talk you through the process. You probably already know where we're going with this, but um, yeah. Right then, so we've got the bike. Obviously, tank and seat unit are on it. And I quite like the look of it, but for me, I always quite like something at the bottom of the bike to kind of bring it closer to the floor. Um, I like my stuff to look fast, just sitting still. So sometimes the best way to do that is just with the stance of the bike. So the only thing that's changed really with the stance uh, or suspension settings, whatever you want to call it, is I've dropped the forks through, I think about 30 mil. Um, so it's slightly lower at the front and the rest is all done via the tank being lifted at the back and the seat unit raising up slightly. Um, so it looks reasonably, reasonably aggressive. Um, and then we've got the battery under the bike. But for me, it definitely needs something underneath. So that's why I went for the, um, for the belly pan. So I'll, uh, I'll show you the, yeah, I'll show you the stages. Right, so I just have to apologize because the light in here isn't great. I've got some kind of ring, white ring thing, light. Um, whether it's doing much good, I don't know. We'll soon see, won't we? But <laughs> so, oh, and we've got a lawnmower going in the background and also the boiler. But there, there you go, we have to work, work with what we've got. So, let's um, have a look at this. Okay. We are in the garage today, in my garage in my little haven. So there is the belly pan once it was body worked. So essentially it was made out of cardboard to get a rough shape, then made in metal in welded parts, welded sections, it's welded through here. Um, we've got a weld through here we've got a weld through here which we can see maybe on the inside so we've got a weld going through there that was just metal overlapping onto the other metal At the end of the day all this is all this was ever going to be was a was a plug so once this was all body worked it was then sprayed with high build two pack primer, then just gloss black fired on it. Um, the reason for gloss black, well, black shows all your wobbles and ripples and imperfections. Um, so it was pretty good anyway. So no real signs of anything wrong with it. Obviously now this piece has been in a mould and to get it out it did take a little bit of brute force because we've got quite a lot of shape here we've got quite a lot of sort of tight edges and kind of concave edges or shapes and it's quite hard to basically once once you've wrapped this whole piece in a kind of fiberglass cocoon. It's quite hard to get it out. This one had to come out from the back. So we had to pull it at the back and then pull forwards, pull backwards, sorry, to, to release it from here. It's kind of hard to explain, really easy to see. Uh, actually, I have got, yeah, I've got a video of. Right then. 
here we go. Always an exciting time when we're cracking a part out of the mould. Whack some gloves on first because it's never fun getting spiked by shards of fiberglass. So I've already done one, that came out fine. Let's see how this one goes. Promising noise. Let's just go all around the edge. Reasonably straightforward shape, this, this one. By the way, this is the belly pan for the BMW, the R100. Oh, look at that. It's coming out, no problem. No real tension needed so far. The hardest bit is this little part here. It's got quite a lot of shape in there, but hopefully I can pull it and pull it out. So. There we go, that lot's gone. Look at that. Look at that, hey? Okay. Lovely jubbly, perfect. That's it, that's mega, awesome. Well pleased with that. No damage to the mould. Still nice and good. That had, yeah, that had five or six wax. Yeah, because it was a new mould, so yeah, that was waxed about, yeah, five or six times. So that's good. And then that. All needs trimming up now. Trim all the edge. I do that at work. Trim all these. These little bits here. These little bits that you can possibly see. That's all got to be cut out. And these little bits here are holes. So they up there, cut that out, drill the holes. Yeah. Well pleased with that, awesome. Nice and neat on the inside. It's always nice to make a nice job of the inside as well. Even though you can't see it, it's just, um, yeah, why not do it nice? But yeah, well pleased with that. Take it to work and get it cut. Then we can uh, offer it up onto the bike and continue. And then here, here we've got the mould. So this mould was done in a tooling resin. So the advantages of a tooling resin are that it doesn't shrink. So when resin shrinks down, you then get distortion, like tiny little weaves, and sometimes it can bend and buckle. Um, this stuff actually works uh, by heat so it, it cures with its own heat so actually the hotter it gets the better it is whereas um, just a normal laying up resin you don't want to get too much heat into it because that's when it will start to distort so yeah so this was done with a tooling resin and not majorly thick on this I think that's maybe three or four layers of matte so that would have started out as uh, probably a layer of 300 gram and then two or three layers of 400. I can't actually remember, but it didn't really need to be that thick because it's not a massive, massive part. And um, you, you do want a little bit of giving in it so that we can kind of, you know, pop the parts out. So yeah, so basically that's the mold all done. No problems with that at all. These little bits here are where it, well, holes for where it screws onto the bike, bolts onto the bike. We've got one here, 
I don't know if you can see, we've got like a cut out there. Um, that's for the exhaust. So obviously on the black one, on the black piece, <coughs> excuse me, um, you could see the cut out. Um, but I had to cut that out to allow me to fit the metal panel to the bike to then run the exhaust through it. So rather than filling all that up with weld, all you do is you fill it over with um, like plasticine or um, uh, uh, they call it a filleting wax. It's just like a yellow wax um, and you put it over your holes as well. So you just fill the holes with wax. So it makes it quite an easy job. So yeah, so there's the mold. Um, obviously there's two of these because we've got a join line down there, down the front. They bolt together. So yeah, so there's the, uh, there's the mold. And obviously the beauty of having a mold is you can make more if you need to. You know, the little bits of wood, all there for is to make it stable. So when you're, when you're laying up the, the mat in there, oh, the worst thing ever is laying up a part and, the, and the, the molds wobbling and wiggling. So yeah, that's all they are. Just stuck on there just to, to get a solid surface for the, um, for the mold. So yeah, but it's quite good fun as well when it goes right, when it doesn't, it's not so fun. But yeah, so we've got the mold. So we've seen the, the plug or the buck, whatever. We've got the mold. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the, uh, the actual fiberglass part. And there we go. There's the part, fiberglass part. Obviously it's lighter than the metal piece. And we've got a little bit of um, little bit of give in it as well. So um, so yeah, it's uh, reasonably neat on the inside as well. It's always nice. Obviously, this is going to need painted black in there. But it's always nice to see a neat kind of layout on the inside. Um, sometimes you see fiberglass. And it looks okay on the outside, but then you see it on the inside, and it looks horrendous where it, where all the all the fibres are sticking up and they haven't laid into the edges nicely. I mean, this is all. It's hard to get you guys to be able to see because I'm obviously still learning and <laughs> not very good at this. But yeah, you can see that it's all nice and tight in the edges as well. And also, one of the most painful things ever is a fiberglass splinter in your finger. Really not nice, really not nice at all. But yeah, so we've got the inside, nothing special. Just, you know, as long as it's neat and tidy, that's kind of what I go for. And then the outside, yeah, just a really, really nice, nice part. This was, um, I think this was a layup of, um, a hundred gram mat to start with, so a fine kind of tissue mat to start with, so that it gets in all these tight corners nicely. You know, we've got quite some tight angles up here, and obviously, especially in there, we have to get it all nice and neat in there. Um, yeah, so I think it was a hundred gram to start with, then a layer of 300, and then I think I've just done a single layer of 450 on this, so it's nice and nice and light. Not overly thick, you know, quite a nice thickness. That's maybe, that's maybe what, two to three mil, two and a half, three mil. So, and, it, and it's quite a consistent thickness as well. Um, yeah, basically straight out of the mold. No filler work, just out of the mold. Um, we cut the cut the holes out. <coughs> excuse me. Um, that's for the foot peg, and these are just bolt holes. We've got a little um, carbon piece that goes over here, and yeah. And obviously, it's in colour now as well. So we've got the white. So it's a pearl white. 
and um, this is actually actually um, the factory BMW blue and uh, and the red um, of the uh, you know the 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 R series BMWs. Um, so yeah, and I I really love it. I think it looks really really nice. And then we've just got a and then we just bolt bolt the two together down there. So yeah, so we'll um, we'll offer it up on the bike, and we'll be able to see what a difference it makes. And uh, yeah, really pleased with this. Really pleased. A lot of work's gone into it, a lot of hours, but definitely worth it. Uh, like I said, I've had you know quite a few comments of, oh, where did the belly pan come from, and and whatnot. And it's quite nice to say, yeah, yeah, I made it. <laughs> But yeah, well, it's nice to do things that way. It's nice to, to, to you know, create your own thing. So yeah. So um, let's have a, let's have a, actually, let me just show you something else quickly. Yeah, so actually, I can actually quickly just show you how this was released. Um, so this obviously goes into the mold like that. I won't, I won't pop it in fully because it's obviously all painted. But yeah, so this basically comes out from this end. You kind of lift that out like that and then pull it backwards like that and out she pops. All being well, out she pops. If you don't pop out, then uh, yes, that's a bit of a bugger, but luckily, yeah, luckily it, it, come, it, it came out okay. This had, I think six coats of wax. As long as you wax them up well, you generally don't have a problem. Yeah, really satisfying. Yeah, good good thing to learn actually. If you ever want to do any fiberglassing, it's um, it's not it's not overly hard to do. But again, like anything, it's reasonably hard to get nice. But once you've mastered it, yeah, there's 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 no limits really to to fiberglassing. Uh, some people are not keen on fiberglass, I get that. I'm, I'm not overly, overly, overly keen, but in the right application, I think it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's brilliant, it's perfect. So yeah, so we've got that. So we'll just whack it on the bike and see the difference it makes. Right then, let's have a look at this. Literally, every time I put the camera on, or the phone, <laughs> The lawnmower starts up and the boiler goes. But there you go, there you go. So, we've got a mounting point here. I tell you what, my hands are freezing. It's pretty cold in here, it's really nice outside. But in here it's freezing. Let's do that with my hand, let's whack that in with our fingers before I end up scratching some up because my hand's cold. So there we go, we've got one there. We've got one back here. Let's just switch over. And one in the middle. And there you go, instantly, for me, just completely transforms the, the bike. Um, yeah, obviously we're missing bits, we're missing exhaust, we're missing flipping airbox tubes and we've got masking tape here, there and everywhere, but you kind of you kind of get the idea. So, um, yeah, let me, just, um, let me just flip the camera around and we can have a little, just a quick look. There we go. I really don't have enough room in here to be able to kind of get a really nice sort of shot of it, but yeah, for me, I think it looks really, really nice. And I, and I think it suits the bike quite well, actually. I've tried to follow the sort of sharpness of the tank along the, the, the top of the edges and the sharpness of the seat unit. Um, it's nice to get everything to kind of flow because then it looks more like it should be there rather than 
someone kind of just, I don't know, blobbing something onto it, but it's not everyone's taste, I get that. But yeah, I really like it. I think you guys are gonna to struggle to see it. Um, maybe I'll try and put a picture in, a nice side-on picture. But yeah, so that's basically the belly pan. Also, we've got some, um, we have some covers that go in the top, infill covers. And once they're on, yeah, it kind of encloses all the back here. Looks really, really nice. And obviously the exhaust comes along here and then goes up into that hole and then out of here, like so. But yeah, so let me get you a picture and, uh, and we can have a little look at the picture. We'll probably end it there actually, because uh, yeah, it's freezing cold, the heat is going, the light in here is rubbish. <laughs> and I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for uh, taking the time out. If you, uh, yeah, if you want to see some more bits and pieces, on the BM actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get this thing finished up, or get it slightly closer to being finished. Yeah, well that's it, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for taking the time to have a look at the video. Hopefully, it was uh, a little bit of an insight on uh, how to do fiberglass if you've never really delved into it. It's um, yeah, it's a great thing to learn. It's uh, your your limitations are your imagination, basically. Um, a lot of the stuff on the on the the bike or the bikes that I do are limited to uh, uh, materials I've got and the tooling that I've got. You know, <laughs> I, I I don't have you know I've got no lathe. I've got very very minimal tools. You know, to to create bits of metal work and whatnot. But as soon as you get into fiberglass. You can literally do anything. As long as you can stick a few bits together, whether it be cardboard, um, blocks of wood, uh, <laughs> paper, uh, anything. As long as you can make a bulk to then put something on the top to create shape out of, you can then transfer it into your fiberglass. Um, and I just, yeah, I just find it a really, a really nice medium to work with actually um, and also you can do it in carbon if you're feeling brave <laughs> the belly pan was supposed to be in carbon but I, I'm just the, the amount of time that I've thrown into this this now it's just crazy and I also get impatient so I want to see kind of results so it was going to be carbon and then I thought do you know what let's just do it in fiberglass and we'll do it white but later on, yeah, maybe I'll lay one up in carbon. We'll, uh, we'll see. But yeah, anyway, I'm going on. But yeah, cheers for um, watching. Um, if you could do a, a like, a comment, a subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, just, just thank, thanks very much for, uh, for tuning in. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have some more kind of cool stuff going on I'd quite like to show you some carbon fibre skinning that I do so uh, yeah that's something else to look forward to so yeah thanks a lot cheers guys